looks and a tattoo. These sisters, definitely not strangers. Amber Diaz, News Nation. Well, that's all for the inaugural early edition. Thank you so much for joining me this past hour. And you can follow me on social media. Just search Nicole Burley on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You can also download our free News Nation Now app for updates on the day's top stories and breaking news alerts. The Donlin Report starts right now. Up next, American exceptionalism in times of crisis. The United States always finds a way. The 2020 election is in our rearview mirror, but there are already a lot of questions about 2024. And is it time to reopen all schools across America? The debate rages between parents, teachers, and healthcare officials. That and much more tonight on the Donald Report. Good evening and welcome to the first edition of the Donlin Report. It's great to have you with us. We start tonight with some perspective, which is something we're trying to add with this show every night. I hear from people all the time who say they don't watch the news. It's too depressing, too angry, too divisive. But that is our country today. We are a nation divided. Are those divisions, though, keeping us from getting better, from solving our problems? If you can't talk to your neighbor or even your family about issues this important, how can our leaders and the rest of us bridge these gaps? People say we've never seen anything like this. We've never seen a president refuse to accept an election result. We've never seen the Capitol overrun by our own people. We haven't seen a pandemic like COVID-19 in 100 years. We've lost half a million Americans. But think about what our country has seen. Imagine living through World War II, an estimated 75 million people died. Over the years, there have been assassinations, economic crises, the civil rights movement, and plenty of political scandals. This has been our history, incredible highs and incredible lows. But do we focus too much on those low points? Remember, while we were fighting an unpopular war in Vietnam, we put a man on the moon. On that note, why do we love the movie Apollo 13 so much, even though we know how it ends? Because it reminds us of American exceptionalism during a difficult time. I stopped on the movie Argo the other night, the story of U.S. captives held during the Iran hostage crisis. It was American ingenuity that came through to rescue them during a dark chapter in our history. Remember how we felt after the 9-11 attacks, how close we were, all the flags that were flying on houses, a display of American pride and fortitude. There's Operation Warp Speed. Just this weekend, a third COVID-19 vaccine was approved. Our science and medical experts pulled that off in record time. American innovation. Just this month, we landed a rover on Mars, another example of what we can do. We will all look back at this incredible time in our collective history, for better or worse. This is just one chapter in our young nation's story. Obviously, we face a lot of important issues today. Healthcare, racial tension, extremism, immigration, the environment.